Hello, everybody. Oop, camera. Welcome. Welcome to Jorpeder. Yeah, freaking, what is with you guys in Jeopardy? We're never gonna stop playing games that make us look dumb. Why? <laughs> There's no such thing as a game that makes us look smart. <laughs> Play along, <laughs> but not spoil <laughs> stuff. Her fucking face! Oh. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Whiffin', Whiffin poofs. poofs? What the hell? Don't worry, I'll m type one letter wrong and it'll give it to you. Um, Let us begin the pain. Two players. Dude, I'm doing grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I gotta look be at that basketball player. Dude, I gotta be this guy. Fresh from the Knicks. <laughs> he's here on Jeopardy because he's on the game. Game. What is so taxing about fucking Jeopardy <laughs> that this? Emulator core is shitting itself. Fucking SNES X, it's the worst. Good old Dorf. I remember Dorf. Dorf the Dorf the Dorf. Hey, yep, that's what it was. Here are the categories. Somebody else knows Dorf. TV numbers, literature, literature, science, colleges. 12 letters and sports. sports. Yo, thanks for the biddies. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's me. You got H J H J H J H J H J H J H J H I I I P B P B P B P B P B P B. Wow, that was incredible speed runs. P B. After we've done some questions. Don't the first solvent widely used by modern dry cleaners, it was unleaded. Uh... The only thing I can think of that's unleaded is... That you would typically call unleaded is gasoline. That's a solvent, right? But would you... It was that used by dry cleaners? Hey! Wow! <laughs> come, and th come, get your dry cleaning done. We'll soak it in petrol. The answer is... It's our solar system's second largest planet. Aw, oh, man. I'm gonna feel super dumb. Yay! <laughs> the answer is... Alright, depending on the length of the path this takes, thunder might be a short clap or a long rumble. What is... Is this one much less difficult than... Ooh. <laughs> what is... <laughs> As you get stabbed by a ninja. <laughs> okay. Signs for 400. The answer is... We need some freaking music. Oh well, no music for us, I guess. Uh, Power Stone, put some music on. I don't know. Play Gold Saucer on loop for the entire episode. Uh... 20th century Austrian zoologist Car... Oh, right, there's a game. Bees! Bees! <laughs> it's the special field of computer science trying to come up with machines that think for themselves. Uh, geez, uh, can I just put in AI? Please don't make me... Please don't make me put in artificial intelligence. I'm gonna, gonna call oh, it... Whoa! Wee. Gonna call it... This is wrong. Oh, hey. Nope. It fucked me. Uh, let's do TV numbers for a hundred. The answer is... Cookie Burns Working Address. <laughs> <clears throat> nope. It says AZT at the top. Yeah, the freaking eyebrow 77 wiggle. Sunset Strip. Hmm. TV numbers for...
just get through this shit. And it's 60 sitcom officer Tootie and Muldoon patrolled the Bronx in this vehicle. Oh, I almost think I know this. How is this numbers? Probably because its name oh. has a number in it. Car 54. You're right. Number of lives led by Richard Carlson while portraying Herbert Philbrick. <laughs> okay. This is, this is Garbo. Each day, Art Linkletter interviewed this many children on his house party show. I will say... Two. None. It's a trick question. <laughs> Why? Uh, nope. No. Ouch. I just... No. <laughs> you can't get me to lose my money. No. God damn it! <laughs> what <laughs> off? The number of Sergeant Friday's badge, which Dragnet fan could tell you. Well, I've never seen dun, Dragnet. Dun, dun, dun. It was one, because he only had one badge. Freshmen traditionally had to wear this headgear as a symbol of subordination to upperclassmen. <laughs> um... <laughs> I know nothing about college existence. This is some frat nonsense. Yeah. A beanie. Like with the propeller? <laughs> or like a... Like a stocking cap. Oh, oh boy! Daily Double. Daily Here we go. Double. I wager 500. Known by the, its initials, this Cambridge Mass... Why did I wager that much? It's colleges. School charges even higher tuition than its neighbor, Harvard. Massachusetts. M U <laughs> next door to Harvard. Maybe, maybe I know. <laughs> Go fast. Damn. Oh, MIT. MIT. Son of a bitch. Virginia's Lynchburg Baptist College, now Liberty University. Oh, I know this one. I know this one. <laughs> um, um, no, not that one. Not that one. Um, damn it. Damn it. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, well, of all the things, I knew that one. My brain kept saying, um, Bob Jones. And I'm like, no, that's not it, because this is Bob Jones University. It's not Bob Jones. It's always been that, because Bob Jones has a rod up his ass. You can get a knish at a Jewish one, or a mozzarella at an Italian one. Oh. This is what is that? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Ads. <laughs> Delicatessen. I thought, like, that one popped up in my head after I realized restaurant wasn't 12 letters, and I was like, I don't have enough time to type this. Yale University cho choral group whose name is the same as the name of their theme song. Hey, hey, Crichton, thanks for the host. Um, uh, <laughs> the the <laughs> Mickey Mouse people brigade whiffin', whiffin poofs. poofs. <laughs> what the hell? That's an amazing name. I I could not be a part of that. I'd have to like rip my dignity out of my ball sack <laughs> to. D yes. <laughs> Shh. By the way, that's uh, where your dignity is stored. If you didn't know, fun and anatomy fact. I'm Charlie. I'm Charlie Dingle, and the these are the Whiffin' Poofs. <laughs> Best band name ever come up with is still <laughs> sp Swinging Dick in the Sausage Swashbucklers. <laughs> the answer is from Latin for bend the knees. It's not the cry of a ski instructor, but the act of showing reverence. Um. Uh, uh. Oh, I oh I know this one. I think I think I know this one. Uh, letters. <laughs> Fuck you, game. Twelve letters is bullshit. If it's the noun, is that twelve letters? Yes. Yay! Yay! I got one. Yay! <laughs> sports for a hundred. Yay, sports. I stand a chance. The answer is. Nickname for the dragster of the- never mind, I stand no chance. Don Carlitos. And just- uh oh. What is RuPaul? 
Oh. <laughs> Fuck you, it should've been. <laughs> just gonna... Just gonna sit here. <laughs> I like having money. <laughs> Big Daddy. Uh-huh. Gross. <laughs> Sports for 200. Please ask about, like, a baseball team. Fucking racing is not a sport. The answer is... Sumo. Fight me. Georgia Tech beat Cumberland College. Two, 222 in this Jesus sport. Christ. There's only one sport where you can do Really? That. <laughs> it really is the only Tennis. sport. Tennis. <laughs> that's... Not, Please that's, let us stop! This is abuse! <laughs> yeah. This is abuse! That's not how tennis scoring works. <laughs> that's torture. What? Really? F football? No! How fucking way. Did- Is that a football? Georgia is that- tech? If that's a football- Football? Football? What's a it's football? gotta be football. That's the only other sport I can think of where you might score that high. Because you score in sevens. I'll, I'll guess this one. No, no, no! <laughs> we- <laughs> The score of like, five is high. <laughs> you have one chance to type football, I'm giving you this. Footballs. <laughs> no. Jesus Christ! How did that- Those poor people- <laughs> At a hundred! You- At a hundred, you just start throwing the football into the stands, just- be like, hey, have a free football, everyone. Nothing matters anymore. <laughs> 222. Just the line sure. them all up and kick them in the dick. Oh, Edward the Kudor the is the prince. Tom Canty is this other title character. Can we stop? No! Get back out on the field, you sacks. Wait, what was he looks so when he smiled. Wait, what was that? What did you say? The popper. The prince and the popper. You're- you're too smart for me. I concede. <laughs> you know- you know books. I don't- I don't know books. I watch fucking Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she wrote Ramona out of concern for Native Americans. Shrug. No clue, sorry. Have fun editing this one, Power Stone. It's just gonna be 30 minutes of us oh, looking no, like morons. Author of Madame Bovary, he was godfather to fellow writer Guy of the Maupassant. I don't even know how Guy to pronounce. I don't even know how to pronounce his name, let alone Mal know what he wrote. Maupassant. <laughs> Gusta Gustave up, Plaubert. A heckle is a long, narrow neck feather, usually from a cock, used by fishermen to make these. I know it's a lure. I hope it's- they're not asking for a specific yeah. type of lure. You fool! <laughs> My money. <laughs> <laughs> this might have been your one mistake. Did I misspell it? No. You just left out a letter. Possibly. This may be wrong. Hey! Fuck you, game! It said, what are... Fuck <laughs> you, game! Ooh. Alex would have gone to the judges and they would have given it to me. Eat my dick. <laughs> Alec is, is sassy today. <laughs> After losing 737 games in just seven years, they won the 1969 World Series. What? Wow, that's a nice year to win the World Series. God, I'm gonna be so angry at myself if I'm wrong. Damn it! Was it the Packers? This is baseball! Ooh, Packers! <laughs> <laughs> they just rushed onto this, the New York Mets. Uh, wow! What a terrible run for the Mets until 1969. <laughs> at least it's not the Cubs or the Angels. Diving position where diver stays bent at hips with legs held straight and grasps the back of the knees. The Friday night special. I... <laughs> okay. Pikes are long and pointy, whether you're talking about the weapon or the fish. How does making yourself a triangle make you a pike? <laughs> Alright, double jeopardy, let's go. Eat a dick, Alec Trebek. <laughs> Seriously, that was bullshit lures. Alright, how fucked are we?
Classical music. Extremely fucked. <laughs> Can we please get some categories that we might know? Here are the categories. Religion. Okay, that's a little better. Toys and games! Hey! Composer. World capitals. Mmm, geography. Toast! Okay. Mm. And, and law. law. Alright, let's take this one. The answer is... Religion for a hundred. What was the doubter among the apostles? Gimme. Oh no! Blood red! <laughs> oh god, why? <laughs> it's serious now. Yeah, toast! <laughs> Ah, toast! <laughs> Good old Thomas. Uh, mm. <laughs> such a. I love Grandpa. Such a smug ass smile. <laughs> Continent with the largest Jewish population. Continent? I'll bet you it's North America. Yep. I was gonna say, because there's a lot of Jews here in the US. <laughs> Alright. The answer is. Color of smoke signifying the election of a new. Ah, oh, I don't remember. <laughs> gray. <laughs> they just they just light a fire. It's gray. White. They make sure to burn something that makes white smoke. Doves. <laughs> <laughs> it's not smoke. It's just feathers, and they just throw the doves into like an airplane engine they've got in the chimney. Boom. <laughs> New Pope! <laughs> Poof. The answer is... This Buddhist sect seeks truth through concepts like the sound of one hand clapping. Well, that's, um... <sighs> My bro Brax, help! Dot, Brax! Dot, dot. Brax, you know what to do! Zen. Oh. I, I knew it! <laughs> I... Uh... That's quite That's quite the chin dimple your guy has. <laughs> Considering the size of these pixels, it's like, boo. he's got to like hold donut. <laughs> Works whose copyrights have expired have fallen into this. God damn it! Don't worry, I'll m type one letter wrong and it'll give it to you. <laughs> Put it in right. It's like that's correct, player two. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch, rigged, rigged. <laughs> Where's oh space? Public nine domain. <laughs> You're right. Pubic domain. <laughs> While slander is spoken, a case of defamatory words written or printed is called this. Ah, uh, what if like the thing that we actually know the most <laughs> of is law? <laughs> Yay. Hey, that was a different smile. More yeah, law. <laughs> The only state whose basic law is not based on British common law, but on the Napoleonic Code. <laughs> Whichever state is the most French, I guess. Which would... How, how many baguettes are there? Oh boy, here we go. Uh... <laughs> Give us a few rows of letters! Hey, let's go! go. 1896 Plessy versus Ferguson's decision declared this illegal. Uh, marriage to cats. <laughs> marriage to fictional. Uh, shut up, shut up. It's too late. No. Segregation. <laughs> Damn it. I hate you. <laughs> Toast for 200. Yeah, Toast. Please. Toast. Sauteed egg dipped bread. No. Powdered toast. French. It's gonna be like, no, you must know the actual French word for it. A campfire confection. Toast? Alright. What is, uh... I should have just left this one. Oh, right, because you toast the marshmallows. I was but being... If it makes it... If it has to be toasted marshmallows, I quit. Let's find out. Yay! <laughs> I almost threw this can before I remembered. That so is that so gonna be a it. theme here? There's gotta be toast in the answer somewhere. <laughs> Original name of the Ed Sullivan Show. Is it Toast of the Town? 
It sure is. <laughs> I could be winning. The answer is. I could be winning. Rank of George Jessel. Uh, French toast. <laughs> Meet George Jessel. <laughs> Toastmaster General. What? <laughs> Name for an Australian soprano. It's thin, crisp bread. Uh. It's not that, cause that's Mexican. <laughs> oh, Melba Melba. toast. Okay. Well, that's the end of the toast. Gustav Mahler consulted his famous Viennese psychiatrist about his marriage problems. Um... Oh, here we go. Uh, not this shit again. Hey! Yay! I guess he was Viennese. If I get this wrong... <laughs> my father is going to come... <laughs> He's going to sense a disturbance and come in here and destroy you. Beethoven is my dad's favorite composer. Which... It just... Yo, let's go. He looked surprised. He's like, What? Ooh. I, I got her, alright. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, please let me spell this correctly. Damn it. I... If... If it's the right answer... And I just misspelled it. That's bullshit! They would never do that on actual Jeopardy! <laughs> Antonio it's Salieri. Salieri. Damn it, I knew. Damn. Well, composer for 800. I wanted on the record that I knew the answer, I just. Yeah, this Baroque composer's name translates to John S. Brooke. Names don't fucking translate! <laughs> your name is your name! I mean, my name translates to Hideaki in Japanese. Johann Sebastian oh. Buck. Uh, oh my papa. Papa Legba. To me he was so one. Franz. Oh Hayden. Uh, I guess toys and games for two hundred. No, let's get through the bullshit. World capitals for two hundred. Beethoven's birthplace. It was West Germany's capital. Is he born? <laughs> um. Wait. Was that West Germany? Oh god, here we go. Damn. Oh. My money! <laughs> I need that. That was the good Germany. <laughs> bon. <laughs> this country's capital is Rabat, not Casablanca. Uh, Geography is not I'm taking a, I'm taking a long shot. Geog I taking a risk. Geography was one of the only classes that I legitimately failed. Think my money. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Was it? It was Family Guy that did the bit where after they were done, no, or was it The Simpsons? Morocco, where it was like, you owe us five hundred dollars. <laughs> oh, oh here boy. we go. Let's just do three hundred. Try to get. In the black. Old Fuss and Feathers, General Winfield Scott captured this capital in 1847. Capital B. Ron. <laughs> well, damn. Oh, Mexico City. All right. The answer is. All right. Parker Brothers has made balls, boomerangs, and ping pong paddles out of a soft material they call this. Uh, nerf. Yay! <gasps> All right. The answer is... As scissors beats this, so this beats stone. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> We're sitting here like, nah. To be a weapon in the Philippines, Duncan made them toys for the U.S. 
Duncan, Duncan, Duncan. Donuts! <laughs> See, it says made them toys. It's trying to fool me. The yo-yo. You can't type a dash, so it's gotta be this. Yeah, yes. 200! I'm in the black. Thrown out as useless by GE in 1949, the stretchy stuff became a national fad. Stretchy stuff. Um. Fuck. Silly putty? Yep. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't enter it because I was I was like putty. <laughs> all right. Hey. Daily double. All right. I'm risking it all. All or nothing. All or nothing. Let's go. Total number of dots on the highest standard domino. Standard domino. Oh fuck. I'm saying twelve. Okay. Yay! Boom. Final Jeopardy! Okay, we get it, Alex. Come on. No, you will hear this song. Our final category is the calendar. Dorfy, it's your turn for Final Jeopardy! 500. You're that fell four score and seven years after Lincoln's Gettysburg address. Uh oh. Oh no. I don't remember the year. If if you don't get it right, see, like I was gonna be like, oh, I should look away, but if you don't get this right, I'm doomed. I don't know at fucking all. Braxton's losing his damn mind. Dee 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 dee. I don't know my history because I can't be fucked. <laughs> I don't know the past. Come on, man. <laughs> All right, it's your turn for Final Jeopardy. It doesn't matter at this point. Yes. Four scores, so would you 18. F. 62. The final Jeopardy answer is. Oh. <laughs> I don't know years. Ah! Uh! <laughs> mm -hmm. Welp. Congratulations, Dorothy. You win. <laughs> so, wrong answers count as incorrect, huh? Man, fuck school. Man, where's the part where I win a boat? <laughs> I want to win a boat for nothing. <laughs> this time I shall be... Robin! Human Robin. Look how floofy her hair is. That's quite the hook nose she has going on there. Like Robin! <laughs> and I shall be... I shall be this man who looks very familiar for some reason. It's Carrie Elwes. <laughs> As you wish. Elvis, Yules, how do you pronounce his goddamn name? Steve. World geography. I no, select, select. World select, egg. Select, Political select, quotes. 20th select, century. Actors select, and roles. Select. The na in the Navy. <laughs> where you can sail the seven seas. In. <laughs> uh, Press select button. Nope, well, no, this is what we have now. damn it. Bigger than the entire world's land surface, it's the Earth's largest ocean. Damn. What is the... And you're not getting me this time, Alec. <laughs> I know I'm on to your game. Ocean. Can't just be Pacific. It's like... in Again, in real life, I'd be like, what is the Pacific? And Alec would look at me and be like, uh, I'm sorry, we needed it to be, what is the Pacific Ocean? And I'm like, what did you think I meant? The Pacific R River? The, the Pacific small pond in my backyard? Jack's what? Pacific. <laughs> the it's a Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean. Alright. <laughs> the smallest country in the world is located entirely within the city of Rome. Uh, it's one of two things, I think. Your hint was the yes. fact that it said, what is the? Well, I mean, 
we're the United States of America. No, we're not. The answer is... Right, the Sierra Nevada range contains the country's highest peak, the 11,400 foot Mulhation. What's Canada? What's Canada? <laughs> Damn. Is it the US? I don't know, let's find out. Spain! <laughs> I'm- I'm an idiot. I was like, the Sierra Nevada, clearly that's in Nevada. <laughs> <laughs> Which, of, as everyone knows, is in Canada. <laughs> well, like, ranges can go- ranges can go- like, you can- like- No, they can't! They have to obey borders just like everyone else. The tropics lie between the tropics of Cancer and this. Okay, I know this one. <laughs> Which is the worst Capri Sun flavor. Yeah, there you go. This fever carried by ticks is actually more prevalent, prevalent, prevalent in the Appalachians than it is out west. No, that's not it. That can't possibly be it. Again, I don't like the fact that fever is in quotes. Damn. Damn. No! <laughs> well, now you've helped him! Unfair! Unfair! <laughs> this is how I win games. You win <laughs> games because chat cheats for you. I win games by waiting until someone messes up and then riding their corpse to victory! <laughs> no, okay, if you both wrong. Rocky, Rocky Mountain. Mountain Spotted Fever. Are you fucking kidding me? You'd have to type that? 60 seconds is not enough time to enter that. These are the words of the entire Gettysburg Address. <laughs> now fuck off! <laughs> the answer is... This disease carrier poses the greatest health threat to humans of all insects worldwide. It's too quick on the draw for me. Oh. What is the mesquite barbecue? <laughs> what is the mesquite <laughs> Yeah, I made my money back. These bees, who do nothing but fertilize queens, have the shortest lifespan of any... It's drone bee. <laughs> Yay! Oh, now we're tied. Wait, does it... I'm not touching this one, fuck you, this is a trick. Yeah, cause it's like, do you want abdomen and head, or head and abdomen? <laughs> John Gunther called it the only country deliberately founded on a good idea. Well, not the United States. <laughs> Canada. Did you know Canada? Found Canada. Found Wait, what is the Canada? That's not right. Uh, what is the... What? What is the... Um... I'm, I'm gonna say United States. Oh god, here we go. Is it United States or United States of America? Of... <laughs> <laughs> this is the most stressed I've ever been. American. You're right. So he was. <laughs> it's like the only other thing that was, I could think of was United Arab Emirates. <laughs> Ooh, daily double. Ooh. Follow along if you want to play along. Her but not spoil her stuff. Her fucking face! <laughs> <laughs> she- she looks like a- She looks like an incredibly pixelated Fallout 4 monstrosity. Yeah, but like... The smile never touches the eyes. She's got that s shark smile. Russian leader who supposedly mm -hmm. said the capitalists will sell us the rope with which we will hang them. Um... Oh. <laughs> I accidentally God just damn. hit start. Lenin. Well, it's just as well, I was gonna say Gorbachev. <laughs> but Gorbachev was actually a cool dude, so... How many times does that happen in Jeopardy where the dude's like, I wager a dollar? <laughs> Alec is like, you bastard. <laughs> At that point, Alec just pulls out a gun and shoots him in the face. And I it's keep like, saying Alex. Anyone else? 
In the War of 1812, Captain James Lawrence uh, gave this famous dying command. Dude, <laughs> save me! <laughs> I'll take swords for 500, LeVar. Oh, hey, Nerdbird, how you doing? Captain James Lawrence. Is this the guy I'm thinking of? If it saved me with one E... Save me. <laughs> Eat. If this is the guy I was thinking of... Okay, don't give it the ship. Not the quote I was thinking of. Acronym for Women Accepted for Voluntary Emergency Service. Well, that's clearly WAFVS. <laughs> Yeah, what? <laughs> Try it, see what happens. What is waves? You're right! That was the easiest question ever asked also, on Jeopardy! Also, I would like to point out... You can't... <laughs> it's like, I hate acronyms that skip words. I don't care how unimportant the word is. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> the pursuit of life fucking and happiness. <laughs> I want that- I want that declaration of independence. What is liberty? You're right! Hey! Please be correct. Don't make me go through all this for nothing. It's either this or there's one other it could be and I'm just kind of hedging my bets. Damn. Oh. Oh. Gidget. No, I was way off. Who watches movies from 1933? People in 1933. <laughs> and nobody Alice else. Alice in Wonderland. Huh. He played Waldo's uncle Quincy in cartoons and James Dean's dad in Rebel Without a Cause. Oh, oh, um, damn it. Um, no, no. <laughs> Jim, oh, never mind, okay. Jim Backus. Okay. As opposed to Bob Frontbutt. I'm not angry at myself. <laughs> oh, we're in a new category. I was like, what the fuck movie is this from? <laughs> <laughs> to symbolize their resolve not to fight each other again, these two countries built the Christ of the Andes. Trick question. No country has ever vowed never to fight again. <laughs> Chile and Argentina. Not a single one of even our most liberal presidents have ever gotten rid of nukes. I, I don't think that there's any country... But then again, I guess New Zealand banned nukes. Cartoons. Cartoons, good, all right. good. Double, double. Toil and trouble, that's one More of the More science. Food. Food. Holidays. Fine China. All right. Yeah, I'll take this. This seems reasonable. I can't wait to look stupid. Though Delftware was first produced in this country, it's also made in England. Delftware? Delftware. Well, I think I know why Delftware isn't around anymore. The Netherlands. China. 1957, the Severus shiny factory named New Color, not a hairstyle for this mistress of Louis the 15th. Qua! <laughs> 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 Madame de Pompadour. That color is too long. The length of this <laughs> color is too damn long! The answer is... First name shared by the great 18th century Potter Spode and Wedgwood. <laughs> Why is China names, names related to China, so fucking stupid? Tim. <laughs> Though we love his February day, he's been taken off the calendar of saints. Oh. Don't you remember that one uh, cartoon with the worm? Mm-hmm. And Dom That's a spicy meat the ball. <laughs> oh, Dom DeLuise doing the most offensive Italian stereotype uh, since Mario. <laughs> and he's Italian. <laughs> yeah, that's he is. Thick it up. We want the meat the balls. <laughs> All over, and he's like, Burr, why are you making uh, such a broad stereotype? Oh, so near. <laughs> <laughs> Round loaves called dead men's bread are sold on the day of the dead in this Central American country. Uh, um, oh, wait, Central American. Fuck. Shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. What are countries in Central America? I don't know. I don't know any countries in Central America. 
Dude, um, Central America, Colorado. Come on. Um, um, I got this. I got this. <laughs> Latvia. <laughs> what? <laughs> Latin land. <laughs> oh no. Damn. <laughs> I'm just gonna let this one slide on through. Mexico. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. Because <laughs> Central America is between North, North and, South, and America. South America. And that's I guess where, in the entirety the, of Mexico. That's where the Mexico is. <laughs> Quit. Definitely no. overthought that. Yep, yep. <laughs> I hope you brought me a gyro. It's Euro. No, that's a currency. <laughs> but to be fair, I would also accept payment in gyros. <laughs> Dork in a tongue so dumb he was raptured. You're too stupid for this planet. Get up here. <laughs> like a giant hand just grabs him by the head and grabs away. Uh, <laughs> what if the rapture happened and God only took stupid people? Oof. <laughs> I wouldn't want to go to heaven anymore. <laughs> You're like, no, because that's where all the dumbs are. And you're one of them. <laughs> that would be that would be worse. I'd be like, God, no, no, no. This is not an accessible turn of events. Just send me to hell. Destroy me. <laughs> oh, everybody here is Republican. Kill me. <laughs> Spicy, icy Spanish tomato soup. Oh. Icy? There are some soups that are served cold. Yeah. Like cereal. Yes. But there's a specific name for them. But I don't remember what this is. Gazpacho. That is correct. Cereal is arguably a vichyssoise. Food for 600. He looks very stoned. Dish made of meat and pastry and named for Napoleon's nemesis. Um... <sighs> Beef Damn. Wellington. Damn it. I knew what it was and my brain... It was... <laughs> Freaking construction again. <laughs> Go detour. I don't have time for a detour. Ooh, daily double. All in, baby. <laughs> Wow, in steak al poire. Fuck, what? Oh shit, what is, what is, 42? <laughs> Raw. <laughs> Tunage. Damn. A1 steak sauce. Pepper. Fimsh. I haven't learned enough French yet. <laughs> Main dish ordered most often. See, that's actually kind of tricky. I'm going to guess. Nope. Dang. Well, negative. I, Jesus I'll, Christ. If I can't be the best, I can sir be the worst. Um. Fried chicken. <laughs> Rhyming with voodoo, it means both voodoo and bad luck. Poo poo. <laughs> I'm not touching this one because it's gonna be some weird ass spelling. I think it's hoodoo. Ooh. Yep, but I didn't know how it was spelled. Fuck that. Everybody Usually loves that. Usually optimistic person, like. Th like the title heron of Eleanor Porter 1941 bestseller. I, I imagine an episode of Jeopardy where all three of the contestants are just sitting there dumbfounded by every question. <laughs> The answer is... <laughs> Adjective for folks totally lacking 32 enamel coated structures used in mastication. Hey, this is a Christian stream. How are these double double le- oh well. Who do- Luge? Oh, that's your name. <laughs> it's like, what the hell is Luge? <laughs> do this. Yay! Hey. You're coming back. The answer is... One who vends volumes <laughs> of books of liquids. Oh, it's double double. So there's two sets of doubles in the word. See, O O L L, right? 
Okay. Yay, you're right. Science for 200. Science! Can I spell this? <laughs> I must put Callie's cums. <laughs> Yay! Go. I got the glitch. <laughs> Happy. Organic chemistry has been defined as the chemistry of the, this element and its compounds. No. Finally, I know one. Is it? Yay! Yay. All right, here we go. Cartoons for a thousand. Yeah, Time to. His secret identity is Henry Cabot Henhouse the Third. Super chicken. Time to. <laughs> Time to. Soup. God, fucking damn it! That was a joke. I didn't know there was a super chicken. <laughs> Why couldn't I burst my way through that one? <laughs> <laughs> Hanna Barbera twosome that won seven Oscars despite all their fights. God damn it! I press A before you. You are Laurel and Hardy. <laughs> How do you do an ampersand? Just type an and. <laughs> Wasn't even correct. <laughs> I hate everything. Did I not get it in time? Oh. <laughs> I don't even know if these are Hanna Barbera. Honestly, I thought they were. Yay! Hey, the Daily Double! <laughs> oh, I don't remember this asshole's name! Ah, uh, <laughs> Papa, you've ruined me! Who is... Brain. Ned. <laughs> <laughs> Ned Bear. What's the answer? It's... Wimpy! wimpy. No. Wimpy. The answer is... Cartoon character attended Minnesota's Wasamata U. What is this fucking bullshit? Cartoons from the 1700s. <laughs> like, this game came out in the 90s. Ask me about the oh, Disney bowling afternoon. Bowling. Yeah, cartoon for 200. 68 year old cartoon cat who didn't get his bag of tricks until his 50s TV show. Well, that's easy. Do you have to say Felix the Cat? I'm saying Felix the cat. I'm Felix not... the cat, the wonderful, wonderful cat. He'll kill your dead cat. <laughs> He'll kill your dad and eat your face. How many people in chat have seen the Felix the cat movie and had that burned into their <laughs> psyche? Yay! Yay. <laughs> Congratulations, you won as by as about as much as I did the first one. <laughs> Oh, historic dates, fuck me. <laughs> I don't even need to Final see the question. The Alright, cool. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Why didn't it let you do the Final Jeopardy? Can you not do it if you're in the negatives? Because you don't have any money to wager? I guess that's fair, because then you could just be like, I wager $50,000. All right, but if you don't get it right, we're taking your kneecaps. <laughs> oh, and need, your left kidney. I need my kneecaps to walk out of Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, who does he look like? I think he looks like Harry Elwes, Ewells, however you pronounce it. Somebody in chat, tell me how you pronounce it. We've played a lot of Jeopardy. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm getting I mean, to the point where... We have Jeopardy, though. I'm getting to the point where I think Craden, every time he wins, is going to be like, and here's another version of Jeopardy. Yep, so that'll do it for tonight. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Thank you for your, uh... Thank you for, uh, the... Winner's choice suggestion. It was fun. 